Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be answering just a few questions that um, people in the prospective biotechnology students are probably like searching on the internet. And I got this question from an answer of a question that I asked on Quora because I've been intending to make this video but I just can't seem to find the right questions to you know yeah but anyway maybe there'll be a part two to this if many people respond you know if anybody wants like an answer and so that's what i'll be doing today um yeah i'm already 42 seconds into this let me get right to it here i have my laptop so i'll be looking at the answer which are pretty much quest which is pretty much various questions and i'll be answering them and so a brief background I studied biotechnology for three years in Malaysia and so yeah <laughs> you might be wondering why is your course um, three years why is it not why is it not four years because it is true some biotechnology courses will be four years and some biotechnology courses will be three years I did a bachelor's of science biotechnology honors and so this was pretty intense I had um, 20 credit hours per week and so it was pretty packed it's like everything <laughs> together and I'm guessing I'm only guessing for the four years you have things spread out you know because you still have like a whole year to complete everything that you want to so yeah let me get right into it in four years of your biotechnology degree what will you be studying about Firstly, I would define biotechnology in my terms based on what I've studied. So biotechnology is pretty much the study of biological stuff <laughs> and pretty much implementing that knowledge together, you know, in, in humans, in today's society, in our life, in our daily lives. So that's where the technology part comes in because to take that biology and to make it kind of like our thing, you know, you have to add in technology. So biotechnology and um, what does it cover? Biotechnology covers a broad range of things. So you find people that are like, I'm an animal biotechnologist, you know, or like I'm a plant biotechnologist. I did biotechnology flat. So if you're doing biotechnology flat, you're going to cover microbiology, immunology, you're gonna cover <laughs> you're gonna cover fermentation bioprocessing engineering biochemistry uh, fundamentals of science um, which comes with a little bit of physics in that fundamental science fundamentals of science you're gonna cover environmental science so this is about like water treatment stuff like that um, you're going to cover biophysics Ooh, biophysics yeah this gets physical well i know personally speaking i believe most biotechnology students really don't like physics and so you know but some do you know they love physics in like you know just physics but not like oh physics you know but anyway biophysics what was biophysics like oh my goodness see that's another that's another <laughs> that's something that you know um, the stuff that you study, you will forget, you know, not completely, but you will forget. And that is okay. It's pretty normal, you know? And so, yeah, you're pretty much just studying to kind of like grasp different concepts. Anyway, let me get into it. You're going to cover things like animal biotechnology, cell biology, developmental biology. You're going to cover um, computational biology, which is also known as bioinformatics bioinformatics <laughs> yeah, you're gonna cover that um and bioinformatics consists of like you know going on ncbi you know um the in silico part of biology like looking at protein structures predicting what a protein structure would look like based on you know the stuff on the computer <laughs> you know um yes 
as I was saying, bioinformatics, marine biotechnology. I had marine biotechnology in my course, industrial biotechnology, agriculture biotechnology, plant biotechnology. So as you can see, we go, we go from like the cell to plants, well, human cells to like plants. And we go to like immunology, to microbiology, to fermentation, which is like yeast and stuff. We also do genetics and genetic engineering. So yeah, that's a lot of subjects that I just mentioned. You might have to like skip through this. I do not know. Anyway, moving on. And then uh, they asked me, uh, how many classes you have per day? <laughs> how many classes? So. Um, as for me, like I said, 20 credit hours per week, that means 20 hours um, for 20 hours for five subjects. Not like 20 hours each, was it? Oh no. But <laughs> no, it was four credit hours per week for each and every subject, and therefore it's 20 credit hours per week. And so four credit hours, that means you're having, for instance, genetics, you're gonna be having genetics um, twice a week for two hours in both, you know, like two hours here and two hours there. However, what they might do is have two hours in one day and then maybe another day you have one hour of genetics and then another day you have one hour of genetics. So, yeah. The 20 credit hours started like from maybe third semester. Yeah, because the first and second semester, the first year is kind of like, mm, yeah. We also do biostatistics, by the way. So yeah, the first and second year, the first year is kind of like, yeah, chilled. And then the second and third are just like, boom, 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 boom. And you only get to start like doing like the genetic engineering, working with your pipettes and stuff in like the third semester. So the first year, what you're pretty much doing is looking at cells under a microscope and drawing it. We had to do that. I can't believe I did that. You had to draw it in like, you know, if you use the 10 times magnification, if you use the four times magnification, if you use the 100 times magnification, so. What research were you pr performing? This is the thing. When you do biotechnology, right? When you're doing a, your undergraduate degree, it's pretty much like a start, you know? So you won't really do anything major. You won't do like any, major pretty much I mean you will yes you can and if you do something major it would be like maybe publishing you know one paper unfortunately but you know you don't really do much like at our school they only let us use like the centrifuge like if you were doing your FYP final year project based on you know if you had to use your did I say centrifuge yes centrifuge but you know um it depends on the school honestly speaking and what i'm trying to say is that don't expect something like huge like oh my goodness i'm gonna study like this and that i'm gonna do it no you're learning the basics and yeah you might learn the basics for four to three years like i said um it's like you're learning different types different things you're learning microbiology to this and that and you're only touching the surface for each and every subject and so therefore it's kind of like you know yeah you're just pretty much touching everywhere and then this is where graduate school comes in if you are interested in like becoming a full-on scientist in whatever field you want to become you can because if you do a biotechnology degree you can actually go straight to a phd depending on your <laughs> um what do you call it cgpa <laughs> or you can do a master's as for me i want to do a master's because i feel like i, I need to learn everything you know yeah <laughs> So yeah, don't expect any major research. The only major thing you're gonna do is the final year project, which isn't even that major, but it's still like tiresome, depending on the topic you choose. And it's still interesting. It's only the final year project is in like your last semester. And you do it for a period of the last semester. I don't remember to be honest. But in the fifth semester, cause I did, um, three years and in each year you have two semesters so as I was saying in the fifth semester that means in my first year of the in my first semester of the third year I did um, 
yeah you do the proposal proposal oh gosh you prepare what you're gonna like do your proposals and kind of like you know yeah do proposals for the research that you want to do this this oh gosh this research <laughs> and topic will either be given to you or you can decide on one so if you do want to decide on one think about it carefully and like you know screw screw i don't know why i did that but oh so the next one is pretty much like my my what was the major like set what's the most thing that what is the thing that irritated me the most and um my major interest as for me um in our first semester that's when we learned cell biology and damn <laughs> i really like cell biology and then you know after the first semester cell biology this the next um you know the next time we did anything related to like cell biology was in the third semester where we had developmental biology yes and i just love developmental biology so that was my interest pretty much and developmental biology in the fourth semester i had like um animal biotechnology which is pretty much like when they say animal biotechnology it's pretty much like we are animals <laughs> anyway moving on and then in my fifth or sixth semester um, I took um, medical biotech and yeah so it kind of like my interest that was my interest and so now for my um, master's I'm gonna be doing pluripotent stem cells you pretty much like I just know from the get-go what I wanted no stem cells were very intriguing to me it might be different for you you might want to learn about cancer and so you know you only touch like i said the surface so if you do want to further your studies if you do want to learn if you yearn to know more do the graduate course that's my advice and of course i haven't started yet but i will and of course it will be difficult it's not going to be as easy so yeah this is just my advice anyway what thing irritated me the most in terms of subject what subject did i not like fermentation bioprocessing and engineering i do not like that topic i don't that subject i don't think <laughs> i don't think i even said it right because like no <laughs> let's just not go there and i mean for you that might be your interest and then you want to do like industrial biotechnology you know and i don't know where I think you can you know you can further your interest like you do nanotechnology and all that so oh you see you see you can do all that people you can do all that you can become a marine biologist and so you know anyway as i was saying mm, irritated me the most the lab work maybe um i just never got the lab work details right maybe i can make another video on how to do like your lab reports not that i'm the best person to tell you about this because i know my classmates were better at me than this but like what i've learned you know i just didn't like because each oh yeah and speaking of like i said earlier there are two um like for instance four credit hours for a subject and that means two hours for the class however the lab hours are not counted so like the lab also has a specific two hours for lab time each and every subject and you have to do lab reports gosh but it's a good habit because if you're gonna become a scientist you have to write down everything that you write you you um the results that you get pretty much you know and you have to track the dates that is very important how did i feel being a biotech student most of the times at our school biotech biotech students were known to be like oh, biotech students have it hard you know biotech students <laughs> we do we do ah. okay so there were different kinds of biotech students in my class <laughs> and it's honestly up to you what biotech student you want to be do you want to be that biotech student that's like top notch you know yeah and then do you want to be that lazy biotech student that's just like oh goodness i don't want to be in this class you yeah? know that's up to you I think I was in between. I barely skipped a class. So I guess maybe I was 80%? No, probably 99.9. Okay, I'm being weird. <laughs> okay, so next. Um, what I 
the things that make your heart flutter in biotechnology oh my goodness guys i don't know i'm just a curious person and so like learning about stem cells or like learning how oh gosh it's just like what boom, 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 boom. my 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 brain explodes i don't know i think that's what you need as a scientist in general researcher is you have to be really curious and you know don't do things because of money because of the money you know it's genuine passion honestly speaking to do this it's genuine passion you know it's not like oh my mom forced me to do this because we all know that biotechnology is not like really uh, uh it's still developing and so when you tell your parents that you want to do biotechnology they're like what is that my mom was like Lucy, what is that okay it was never on a call but she was like what is that they had to ask somebody about it before they actually let me go and do it and so yeah pros and cons of biotechnology okay the pros which i i definitely you know is that it's not specific it's not specified and that's very good as an undergraduate course because as an undergraduate student or a prospective undergraduate student you don't want to be you don't want to limit yourself for instance if you were to do like something i don't know what would be very limiting but if you were to do something very limiting of course that is very limiting and you know you would be stuck with that well not stuck with that for the rest of your life you can do another course but what i'm trying to say is that it's like starting the you know that hierarchy the food hierarchy that starts with like producers where they're like a number of producers and then you know so if you were to start like you get me and then to like find a course within that course is like very difficult and so you know but biotechnology is like producers it's like plants are here animals are here cells are here yeast bacteria everything you need to know here in science that is i feel because mm. we did bioinformatics we did you know it's pretty much covers everything and so once you've learned biotechnology and then you find that you know i'm interested in bioinformatics then you go in that field you found me and you realize that now nah, i'm a plant biotechnology person and then you go into the plant sector you know or maybe you're like oh immunology is bad then you go for immunology or if you're like me and you like stem cells then you go for stem cells and if you're like my friend who likes cancer then you can go for cancer <laughs> is all i'm trying to say you know and within that you can specify because for me now stem cells is like stem cells and then you've got like you know there's like you can dive in deeper into stem cells where they like hematopoietic stem cells or like these type of stem cells you, you dig okay good that's like the major pro of biotechnology and since it's a developing thing and i don't know it's just like because like um most of the people that i've met will and ask here and said what course did you do in your undergrad they're like oh i did biotechnology and i'm like what girl that's so cool <laughs> i did the same thing too anyway so yeah you're not alone there are a lot of people doing biotechnology well not a lot a lot but it's still a very good field trust me and you have to be passionate about it so yeah i've talked for like 20 minutes 21 minutes i was supposed to be napping did I ever feel like giving up? No. Bro, you have no idea how much I love biology. Like in high school, I loved biology. And it's in high school that I decided I wanted to do biotechnology. And my mom was like, no, why don't you do medicine? And I was like, <laughs> biotechnology is bad. Okay, I'm being so weird. And so I did um, biotechnology and i never felt like giving up because like i said it's passion it's that thirst it's that i feel like anyone that searches biotechnology up must be passionate must really want to do biotechnology unless you just found it somewhere you didn't know you were maybe searching from biomedical sciences and then you found biotechnology you know 
but to, to look for biotechnology and be like this is i feel like you have you already have that drive in you but you know some people just happen to do biotechnology and it's still a good course it is difficult it is there are gonna be some days where you're just like ah i don't want to do this anymore well it was mostly the lab work that i was like oh, i don't want to do this anymore in like specific subjects which i'm not mentioning <laughs> the cons of biotechnology it is difficult yeah um you have a lot of reading to do a lot a lot of reading i'm not just saying like <laughs> i'm not just saying like you know it's like test and then assignment and then like test and then assignment especially since like the test test weeks are in the same um, weeks depending on your school for instance like test one will be like during a certain period and so each and every subject's test one is like during that period and it's kind of like <laughs> and you've got assignments and then you've got lab work oh. but it's worth it it definitely is worth it so I hope this video answered some of your questions if it did not if you still have some questions please ask in the comment section below because i will be answering them you know i definitely want to help anyone that's you know here out there um, searching into this course um and what else can i say um yeah that's pretty much it ah one more thing is um, my professor told this told me this my professor here he told me that um once you enter the science field despite it being stem cells as for me you've entered into the whole science field you're not just limited to stem cells but you can do like you know you can help someone with cancer because it's like you get what i'm trying to say the same anal anal analysis processes and like etc and so yeah anyway break a bone and good luck <laughs> peace